Hello and welcome back. Welcome to lesson number three. Um, in this lesson uh, I'm going to uh, take what we did last lesson and extend it by making the triangle we built rotate and animate in a 3D environment. I'm also going to introduce the concept of an internal clock and how we can use it to regulate the speed of our animations and stuff like that. And then we're also going to introduce the basics of the camera. So I'll get started. Um, I'm in Visual Studio again. Uh, I've got D3D tutorials uh, opened. This is the project that we ended with last time <coughs> and I'm going to add to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new item. Computer's running a bit slow. There we go. And this is going to be the header file for the clock. So I'm going to call it clock.hpp and then I'm just going to do a little bit of the housework a little bit of the guard conditions and I'm also going to include windows.h because we will need some of the functions that are prototyped in this file um, <coughs> really simple file really, it's just going to contain uh, one class and I'm going to call it C clock and I've just written a comment there basically says that we're going to use it to make sure that our animations run the same speed on any computer and eventually we'll use it to calculate frames per second and stuff like that we can regulate you know we can um, clamp at like 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second we will be able to do that eventually but in this uh, basic implementation we're just going to use it to regulate the speeds of our animations depending on how powerful the computer is because obviously if you've got a quicker computer than somebody else then programs will execute faster and we don't want to do that when we're talking about animation we don't want to go to the speed we intend uh, uh, three private mem uh, member variables here um, two 64 bit integers um, initial timestamp, current timestamp and a float called seconds per count uh, I'll definitely explain what these are and when we start implementing the the public methods of the class um, and these public methods are these <coughs> we've got a constructor for the class and initialize method and an update method which returns a float um, and then we'll just close the class Oops. and that's it really for this header file pretty simple just one class and it's just going to get the basics of our clock underway 